Hello everyone, <laughs> welcome to Sunday Breakfast Live. I'm Sally. I'm Joyce. And I'm Bethany. And we'd love to know who we've got with us this morning, so give us a good morning in the comments and we can wave at you back. <laughs> and I just want to wish everybody a happy new year. What? It's, it's not even December yet. <laughs> Uh, doesn't New Year start on January the 1st? Uh, well, yes, it does. Um, you're both right, but I'm also right too. Uh, because the highlight of my week has been making this beauty. Whoa. Don't know whether you can Whoa. see that. If I lift that up <laughs> above the names there. This is our advent ring, um, which... I've made this week. Ooh, I love making this. It's a highlight of my year doing this. I loved making Advent uh, rings. Uh, today is the first Sunday of Advent, which is the start of the year when we start the whole grand story telling once again of Jesus's coming and how brilliant is it, it is. And now I know I'm daft, but I use our Advent candles throughout the whole year. Um, so I put them in our room at the back of the house and that's my our quiet space. Mm. And yeah, there it is. <laughs> Those are last year's candles. Yes, they've been lit a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, but, and so when it comes to the, the next Advent, we have a new set and uh, we start the whole storytelling once again and I just love it. They're well burned down. So each advent you make a new advent ring? I do, yes. Ah, yes, and there are four advent Sundays before... Christmas, Christmas Day! Day. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And so exciting. Mm. So that's why we have four candles Oh, that's it, tricky to say. Four <laughs> candles, not four candles. <laughs> the Advent ring. Oh, brilliant, well, Ronnie Barker there. It, yeah. Some people call it an Advent wreath, don't they? Yes, they do. And uh, But what makes it a proper Advent ring or Advent wreath Mm. is this, the fifth candle in the middle, mm. um, which is usually white, uh, and it represents Jesus coming on Christmas Day. And it's slightly taller than the others. So on the first Sunday, you light uh, the hope candle. On the second Sunday, you light the peace candle. On the third Sunday, you light the love candle. Mm. On the fourth Sunday, you light the joy candle. And then on Christmas Day, you light the Christ candle, which represents Jesus, the light of the world, mm. coming to be with all of us. Oh, Jesus was such a special gift to the whole world. And that's why we give presents to one another on Christmas Day. Mm. Yeah. So I've told you what the highlight of my week has been. Um, but today, as it's the first Sunday of Advent, would you like to light the Hope Candle, Bethany? Yes. <laughs> fire. Charge of the fire stick. <laughs> the real one. <laughs> so off you go. Jesus is the hope of the world. Come to all our hearts with hope. Oh, so yes, I've told you the highlight of uh, my week. So do let us know if something good's happened with you this week. Um, what's been the highlight of your week? And um, just pop it in the chat below. It'd be lovely to know. Um, the, the days are dark. <laughs> <laughs> So let's encourage one another. Yeah, um, spread a little joy. Spread a little yeah. joy. Yeah. So what else is coming up today, Joyce? Well, today we're going to be listening from to, uh, to Joe from the Little Worship Company telling us about an awesome woman called Mary who definitely needed a pair of sunglasses. Sunglasses? <laughs> <laughs> Just when you thought it couldn't get any darker. <laughs> sunglasses. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> and inspired by our really big advent ring, we're going to be showing you how to make your own advent ring from things that might be lying around the house. And on the theme of hope, we're going to have one of Joyce's action songs. 
really like this one. <laughs> I didn't know this one before. So oh, I really? Like yeah, it's, yeah, it's sign language, using sign language today. So that's uh, a sign yes. language. <laughs> I like the one, the Holy Spirit. Ho yeah. Love Holy Spirit. that. Mm. Love that. Yeah. Face. Yeah, the, sp yeah, the, the breath. The, sp the Spirit's <sighs> breath as well, yeah. Brilliant, if that makes sense. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And Joyce will be sharing some more thoughts about Mary in our still moment. Oh. So, <laughs> shall we see uh, who's with us today? Who's with us? Um, it's, hello to Ashra and Thea. Hello, Thea. Good morning. <laughs> Give us a wave. Who else have we got? Uh, we've got Frankie and Jack. Good morning, boys. <laughs> with Dave. And good morning, Kerry, if you're watching as well. Oh, good and morning. we've got Carla. So we've got Luna and Mia. Good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Over there in Turkey. I hope it's warmer than here. Oh, my goodness, it's getting cold. Uh, we've got Elaine. Hi, Elaine, up in Rossendale. Um, we've, we've got, got Jill Long. Good Jill yeah, Long. Jill's Hi, watching. Jill. Good morning, Jill. Yeah, not as far up as Rossendale. <laughs> and we've got Helen. And who else have we got? We've got Lindy. Good morning, Lindy. Good morning, Lindy. Oh, good morning, Lindy. <laughs> All the tribe over there. Yeah. Oh, tell us your highlight of your week. Have you yeah. put the tree up yet? <laughs> oh, yes. The trees. Oh, mm. I'm enjoying seeing those going up. Mm. Yes. Um, well, when's ours going up? Probably Christmas Eve, if it's anything like <laughs> other <laughs> years. <laughs> that, that is not untrue. <laughs> <laughs> Who else have we got? Um, oh, we've got the Aspies. Hello, Aspies. To, to Jen, Craig, Joseph and Phoebe. Oh, Phoebe, who Phoebe. had a birthday this week. She did. <laughs> We're going to see something very special in the gallery a little bit later on. Anyway, so with our puppets this week, an angel who's dressed as a DJ <laughs> tells Mary some very unexpected and surprising news. Let's take a listen. I see those dance moves, oh yeah. Is, is this good news or is this good news? Yeah. You're having a laugh. No, 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 Mary. God spoken to me and he told me to tell you it's true. Excuse me, this is rather confusing. Mary, don't you believe me? It's just exciting and scary all at the same time. How can this be? How can this be? I met this cute guy called Joseph, you see. I love him and he loves me. So please, please tell me, how can this be? How can this be? How can this be? I met this cute guy. If you see, I love him and he loves me. So please, please tell me, how can this be? That I know nothing is impossible. 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 Oh God. How can this be? How can this be? This cute guy called Joseph, you see. I love him and he loves me. So please, please tell me, how can this be? But I know nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Oh Little Worship Company Bible Time. My name's Jo. Did you know that when God made his beautiful world, he saved the best to last? He created people. There are so many incredible men and women in the Bible, but today I'm going to tell you the story of an especially special lady called Mary, 
who was chosen for the most important job ever. It's from the Bible, from the book of Luke 1 and 2. Shall we take a look in the bag to see what mystery clue we've got that's going to help us with the story today? Oh, interesting. A pair of sunglasses. <laughs> A lot of us hear all about Mary at Christmas time. Sometimes we zoom through the story to get to the bit about baby Jesus and don't realise that the wonderful mother to baby Jesus had to learn how to trust God with her whole heart. Let's begin. There was a town in Galilee called Nazareth where a sweet girl lived. Mary was kind and generous and hardworking. Mary had met a wonderful young man called Joseph and their two families were happy that they would one day get married. One day, Mary was very busy. She had been given a list of jobs to do that would be helpful for her family. She had prepared the food for later, she had made the beds and fixed a small hole in the wall. Now she was just starting on sweeping her house when she saw the room light up. She turned around but couldn't open her eyes. She fell to the ground, shielding herself from the blaze, wishing she had some sunglasses, when the light started to lessen and she... She saw a man standing there, glowing with a bright light, standing in the middle of her sitting room, holding out his hands and lifting her back to her feet. Hello, Mary. I am Angel Gabriel. God is with you. You have been chosen. Mary was still shocked by the glowing man. What could he possibly mean? She was chosen. The angel could see she was worried and kindly said, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have been favoured by God. Mary was overcome with peace. She trusted God, so she started to feel calmer. You will have a baby boy and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of God. Mary started thinking about these words and was confused. How, how can I have a baby? I'm, no, I'm not even married. The angel answered her. The Holy Spirit will put a baby in your tummy, which is why it will be God's son. Mary was full of joy and peace. She had always known that God was with her and she especially knew now that she'd been visited by one of his angels. She trusted all the plans that God had for her and her little baby, even if it did seem to be a bigger adventure than she had ever imagined happening to her. Mary knew that this was just the start of her journey and she needed to cling tight to feeling peaceful and trusting in God. She didn't know what Joseph would say when she told him she was to have God's baby. So she ran to Joseph's house to tell him the amazing news, but she'd been beaten to it by the angel. So Joseph already knew what she was going to say to him. <laughs> Mary, we are on this adventure together. I will be there for you. Months went by and Mary was tired and very pregnant when they realised they had to take a long journey to Bethlehem. Thankfully, the pair were used to putting their hope in their Heavenly Father. You know the rest of the story, don't you? <laughs> Mary had baby Jesus in a stable, the kings and the shepherds came, oh, and even the angel came back with all of his friends singing happy songs to the Prince of Peace, baby Jesus. Isn't Mary an amazing woman? <laughs> she trusted God every step of the way. It can't have been easy to be the mother to God's son. It was such a big job for a little lady, but she did it. Brilliant, awesome Mary. Thank you for watching Little Worship Company Bible Time. See you again next time. And remember, each of us has our own epic adventure to live. Where will yours take you this week, I wonder? <laughs>
Mary's story and what a fantastic story. I wonder what mixture of emotions Mary felt as she listened to the angel Gabriel. One day she's dreaming of and planning her marriage to Joseph and settling down. Then the next day, out of the blue, an angel arrives and tells her that God has something she never could have imagined in store for her that very soon she'd be carrying a special baby sent by God. It would be hard to explain this to Joseph and those closest to her. They might not understand what would her family think. They might turn their back on her because of it. And even if they stood by her, wow, what an enormous responsibility. Of course, we know the end of the story. It's why we celebrate Christmas. This baby Jesus was God's great gift to us, sent that we could be friends with God forever and to always have that hope in times of darkness when the light seems so far away. But Mary didn't know. She only knew that moment, filled with wonder and with many questions, I'm sure. It must have taken a lot of courage for her to say yes to God, to say those wonderful words. May it happen to me, as you have said. This certainly wasn't what she'd imagined or expected, I'm sure. But she chose to trust God every step of the way. I expect a lot of us have plans for this year. 
some big, some small. Some of those plans will have been cancelled or postponed or changed. This might have left us all feeling all kinds of different emotions, especially since we still don't know what's going to happen next year. But the Christmas story reminds us that even though things may not turn out quite as we'd expected, God always has a plan. And it's always good. Just like Mary can, we can completely trust God, knowing 100% that, that whatever else may change, his amazing, huge, big love for us never will. Let us pray. Dear Father God, thank you that you are good. Thank you that you love that you love us. And thank you that this never ever changes. This Advent, help us to put our trust in you, just like Mary did all those years ago, so that we can be amazed again at your wonderful goodness and love, today and always. Amen. How do we say amen? We say amen. It is crap time now. So this morning you saw us light our advent ring. Now we have made our advent ring from candles and bits from the garden, but we thought we'd show you how to make your own. So this is what you're aiming for. We've got four red candles, one for each week of Advent with their themes written down the side and then one big white candle for Christmas Day. So the first thing we're going to do here is show you how to make the candles. So if you take six toilet rolls, four pieces of red A4 and one piece of white A4 and you take a toilet roll and the tea light and line it up with the very edge okay and then take a pen and i want you to make a mark at the very top so at the very top so you know how tall this is there we go so there's my mark and then we need to cut this out and the easiest way to do that is to use this mark to fold the paper across and line it all up at the top and the bottom so you get a nice straight line that will show you where to cut. Okay, and if you're not confident with scissors, just ask a grown-up to help you out with this bit. Okay, so we're gonna cut all the way to the top. Now, what you need to do here is we need to write our theme on the candle. And you are going to write it about two thirds of the way from the end. Okay, so let's make this theme love. Okay, and then turn it over and grab your toilet roll and line it up again and we're going to wrap it now try your best to keep it tight and keep it lined up okay we're going to go all the way to the end and just before we get to the end i'm going to take our glue stick and we're going to glue the edge. Nice and lots of glue. And we're just gonna carry on rolling. And give it a nice press so it all stays. And what you can see here is that because we did it two thirds down, the theme is on the opposite side to the line. So it means that it looks good from the front and because we measured it up at the beginning the toilet roll itself gives a nice ledge for the tea light to sit on without falling to the bottom 
So that's how you make one of the red candles. Now for the white candle, it's the exact same process except I didn't use a single toilet roll. I used one and a half that I sellotape together and then use the white paper to make its wrapper. Okay, so there are the candles. So you, remember you need three more red ones and one big one for Christmas Day. Now for the base. If you take a white paper plate uh, or green if you've got it, but if you don't have a green paper plate, um, what we've done here is we've coloured in the edge so that you don't see any of the nasty white area and it'll all look green and alive and wonderful. Um, but so yeah, we've just taken a felt tip and coloured around the edge. Now the next thing you need to do is take your five candles and use sellotape to stick each of them down where you want them to be in the final product. And when you stick them down at this side, um, at this time, it means that when we put the tissue paper on, it completely covers the sellotape. But sellotape is what is the strongest and the best option for sticking these candles down. So imagine we've sellotaped all the candles down and we are now needing some leaves and greenery. So what we've done is we've just taken some green tissue paper and we've got, we've made squares about this big. Don't need to be neat here. So even little hands can have fun doing this. And we just squidged them up and to make quite loose. Actually here, the bigger the balls are, the, the better they will look when they're stuck down to the plate. So I'll just do this one more. And the trick is not to glue the plate but to glue the little ball of tissue paper instead because it's really easy for the tissue paper to fall off if it's not properly stuck down and it is if you put the glue on the tissue paper itself. Okay, so you can see it's starting to build up really nicely there. And when it's gone all the way around, it starts to look wonderfully green and leafy. So the final thing you need is when you've used some of that red paper, just take some off cuts and give and scrunch them up a little bit. And these can start to look like holly berries. And we've just placed a few around here so that the whole thing looks like holly. So there we have it. A lovely advent wreath. Wow, I love this. I absolutely love it. It's so clever. Well hmm. done. So are we going to light one? Because it's uh, the first Sunday in Advent. Yes, let's light the hope candle, seen as the first week is for hope. Wow, there we go. Oh, can we see that? <laughs> <laughs> the lights are very bright in here, but trust us, it's, it is It is shining. Quite bright. The light is shining. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I know many of you have been making loads of things this week. Shall we take a look? Amazing cake, Jen. Wow. Wow. Oh, <laughs> happy birthday, Phoebe. Yeah, what? that is not shop bought. That is homemade. Well done. It's very <laughs> impressive. And Luna's made a cat. Oh, my goodness, it's Cat in the Hat. That's so <laughs> clever. <laughs> Andrea's very impressed with that. <laughs> yeah, Andrea oh. put your tree up too, lovely. Oh, and Andrea's snowman, very festive. Yeah, very bad. Oh, oh look at this. I think somebody's been creating, is that Super Mario? It is, that's Mario and Luigi. Well done, Joseph. Oh, oh hello, Luna. Hello, Mia. Oh, <laughs> growing up so fast. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, it's so lovely to see what you've been doing this week and to share it with everybody. Yeah. It's it's 
really fabulous. Yeah, thank you so much. We do love seeing all your photos, so do keep sending them in. And giving and you the opportunity to show them all off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we call gallery gallery. And, I mean, it's uh, really show, show and tell. And tell. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's nearly time to wrap up. So just before we go, shall we give a few more shout outs? Um, hello, Sandra in Liverpool. <laughs> she can't help herself, I'm sorry. I know, I love it. Oh. oh. And I know you'll be making this this week, will you? Um, so I hope you enjoy doing that. Who else have we got? Mm. Oh, it's all gone quiet. Hello, Janice. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and Charlotte. And who else have we got? Oh, we've got Megan and we've got Hi, Megan. Charlotte. Hello, good morning. And Glennis. Good morning to you, Glennis. And yes, I think we've got Kerry. Um, I know uh, the on with Dave earlier but uh, um, yeah Jill's just commented what an amazing birthday cake Phoebe it really is uh, and hello Ruth um, <laughs> as well oh well so what's coming up next week Joyce well next week we'll be lighting our second candle on the advent ring the candle of peace Ta -da. Ta -da. Oh yeah, by the way, if, you, if you've not seen tea lights like these before, we just discovered them in Home Bargains. I'm, yeah. I'm sure other places would sell them, but if you've not seen them before, that's where we got these ones. Well, you can get them from Tesco's, Asda, um, most supermarkets, uh, and I think these were four for a pound. Yeah. So, so sorry, we forgot to tell you that before <laughs> as part of the craft. <laughs> by <Yeah>. fault. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what else is coming up next well, week? Well, speaking of craft, we'll be making paper plate angels. So it's all about the paper plates. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. Lots of paper that plates. fantastic. It really does. Sounds great. So don't forget to keep sending us your photographs so we can put in the in the gallery. And we'd love to see your advent rings. They'd be great. We're looking forward to seeing them. Oh, yes. Or anything else, anything else you've made. Not that we're desperate, but we'd love to see what, you do, what you're making. <laughs> As and when, but you need five, to, uh, six toilet rolls. Um, yes, to make this, to make that, yes. <laughs> six toilet rolls. So get storing them up. We've got loads of empty toilet rolls now. I've been keeping them for, for since for, summer for, for, for craft purposes. <laughs> for all the craft. Yeah, <laughs> we nearly made uh, a Christmas tree out of a, a pyramid of. Uh, but and we thought that was a bit much. <laughs> they wouldn't let me do it. <laughs> they just wouldn't let me do it. Anyway, of course, we want to say thank you to Mr. Let me get this right this week. Mr. <laughs> Techie Mike. <laughs> Instead of Maggie Tai. <laughs> Unbelievable. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for all that you do to make this happen. And in the meantime, we hope you have a wonderful week coming up. Um, and may you know God's hope growing in your heart. And we will join together next week for Sunday Make Breakfast, breakfast Live! <laughs> Bye, Bye everyone!